What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines. Let's play season 11, episode number. You saw it in the title. I don't I don't know at this point. Uh, where are we at? Whoa, that is a view. Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. People are moving in. We're still 12,000 away though. Can we get there today? Yes, we can because I'm going to time lapse it. We're just we're just going to see what what builds into what we've already zoned out. Uh, we'll fill in some spots here or there. Maybe make a mess of things. We could always do a little office park it park an office park it. Let's do an office park it up here. Cuz we had room for it and we can get a little dense with it. And that would be okay I think up next to the highway. Right? We're going to break some power lines. Watch out for that. Okay, what if we did that? What if we fix our power lines? What if we did our power lines a completely different way? Because that's kind of in the way of everything over here. Right? So that should all connect. So we don't need this, which means that we can power line from here. Or we don't want to eat zoning. We can power line from there to there and get that all reconnected. And then let's paint, let's paint in some office zoning. We'll have some office zoning over here towards the edge of the map. Is that slightly smaller? Oh, it's a three square block there because of the way I did my road widths. I think we have a tile we can buy, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a quick look at that. And then what do we want to do? We want to come in four, right? Like so. And we'll get rid of that. Come in, we'll do a couple quick pipes. We'll fix that and we'll make some slop. Pay no attention, this is fine. All right. Let's see where that gets us. This is office is filling up quick. We need people. Can we get some people moving in, please? And do we have enough uh, residential zone? I think we do. We did all this, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. So now we wait. Now we wait. I think we're good. I think we're good for a bit. Let's get some cinematic shots of our city or let's get some cinematic shots of our city. Talk about what's next. So I think I mentioned in the last episode, but we're going to want to, you know what? I just realized cinematic shots of the city are great. You know what happens though? It plays at one time speed. So let's play it at three times speed and just deal with it. Uh, we'll go, we'll try and go to a couple cool spots. Let's, let's venture through the timeline of our city. Entrance to the city number one. Coming off the highway, a little roundabout, industrial area off to our left. Garbage and power and all kinds of noise. And the premier district, our first little district here. This one's doing all right. This one has some, uh, some old town bands. Okay, good. And then we kind of started expanding out down this way work on our way towards the downtown and we did a little uh what is this leisure spot tourism spot first with a little leisure spot tucked in behind it near the university nightlife for the kids noisy as all heck what can you do and then we've got a big commercial pocket over here with the double highways and i keep saying double highways we don't have national highway or two-lane highways that we will have when we eventually add in mass transit. So we're kind of stuck with stuff like this. So what we can do is a two lane grass line, one way street, grass line, two way, uh, two lane that is prevents parking on the side of the road, makes it look a lot more like a highway. Um, if we space out our intersections again, more like a highway, keeps things moving. And uh, because the way these intersect, they only intersect with the one way. Right? So I'm not creating really traffic that's turning in front of one another here. If you're in that right lane, it's probably because you're turning right 
or you're turning right up ahead, but you know, it's not an exact science cause it is straight and right in that lane. Um, but then the people coming off tend to be coming off to the lane closest to them should be right. And you've got these little spots where you can turn around occasional intersections that create these four ways. But for the most part, it really helps keep things moving along this kind of this beltway. So just something you can do with some of the base game mechanics. I, I think this one's pretty cool. A pretty cool spot. Um, money wise, how are we doing? Do we try and encourage some growth, trick some people into moving in economy? Take, take, pay now, take, get a little extra money in the bank so that we can afford what we're about to do. Let's drop it down to five. I never raised my high density. Oh my goodness. Let's just go to nine across the board then. That's awesome. I've forgotten to do that for like an episode before, but that that's a while. Did anyone catch that? I don't feel like I saw anyone saying in the comments, Mouse, you didn't turn up the tax rate on the high density in office. And I feel like someone would love to have corrected me there. So if you caught it and you saw it, I didn't see it in the comments, but if you, if you're honest and you caught it, good on you. If you didn't catch it, watch out for that. Because honestly, that was a lot of money we could have been making for our city that we tossed out the window. Now we're actually in the red and we can afford that for a little bit. I want to see if that helps our growth right now. That's the most important thing, getting us up to 80,000. We'll adjust our taxes. Say if we get down to like 6.5, I'll throw my taxes all the way back up. I don't think we're going to lose money that fast. Um, we may have to slide some zoning around here or there or build some space for some new commercial pockets. Uh, you know what? Do we zone? Do we just zone on this and say, what the heck? No commercial right here. Commercial right here. We got it. We got a good spot. Fill low density all the way down here. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Hold on. So that works. Let's fill in this block too. Just trying to keep our demands nice and flat so that anytime someone wants to move into the city, there's a good reason to. All right, let's let it run on three times speed for a little while. See what happens. 70,000. We are 10,000 away from max pop or not max pop, but from our top milestone. So let's let it run. Let's give away a little money, right? Let's keep those tax rates low. Hopefully it will encourage some growth. If anything goes uh, too much up into a demand, it's because I probably need to create more zoning. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll ignore most of the problems for a few minutes here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how many people we can get. Maybe 80,000 fingers crossed. Be right back with a little I was going to say be right back with a time lapse, but no, the time lapse is coming right now. I'll be back at the end of that time lapse. So let's see. It is uh, November 24th in game right now. November 25th, 2036. You say a number in your head. What what date do you think we're going to hit 80,000 if we don't have to make any major changes? I'm just going to leave it playing. Hold on. Be right back. R write your guess down. Honor system. And there we have it, Plainville, 80,000 people. That was a great season. Thanks. See you next time. We'll kick off a new season soon. I don't know when. All right. Bye, everybody. Signing off. No, I'm just kidding. Come on. We just unlocked 80,000. There's still so much left to do. Don't you worry. So 80,000. We got to start trimming back some of this nonsense that we just built, but we'll leave it for now. Um, I think one of the things we can do is start to build over some of it. Um, we definitely want to look at planting down at least a couple of our unique buildings. Uh, let's see what we got money for. It's a lot more expensive than you think. So if we look at monuments, I take it back. We've done all of level one, level two, level three. So let's just look at what these buildings are requirements for. Space elevator, I don't care. We're not really strapped for power. 
Eden Project, I think is our first one. So is it temporary? Is it not? I don't know. This could be kind of cool up here. I feel then again on on this side, if we can make it work. Right in the middle, someplace like right, like right there, maybe. Right at those crosswalks. That works. So let's look at level five requirements. What have we not unlocked here? This is for having uh, multiple instances of public library. We'll worry about that after. This is going to be Expo Center for Elevator, for Med, for the Collider, Fusion. That's our Eden Project building. So first things first. This is a pretty big one. Do we cram it in down here for now? Do we even have a spot over here for now? Could I put it there if I wanted to? It's going to eat a street to do it. Where do we have a spot for it? What can we hear? We're on the edge of the map. Oh, that's outside the city limits. Do we buy it? <laughs> do we buy it for that? Um, come on, right here? Right here. Right there. Right in the right on the cross street. Good enough for now. That's not we can we can fix all these things later. And I say that and I rarely do. I know I need to do that. I know I need to go revisit um, all my cities, or, or most of them at least, um, and uh, and go back and fix some stuff. Maybe we'll do that on streams. That would be a really fun way to uh, to reminisce, talk about favorite parts of builds, see what parts I left kind of broken, and try and go and, and fix some stuff. Uh, where were we, Squirrel? Uh, nostalgia train stopping at uh, monument requirements for Eden. Uh, this is the Eden. Pro Look at the description. Requirement for building the medical center. Last sentence. Requirement for building the Hadron Collider. Last sentence. Requirement for building Fusion Power Plant. Last sentence. Requirement for building the Eden Project. Please note that parks and unique buildings don't count towards the requirement. <laughs> What requirements? I've already unlocked the requirements. You're not telling me the requirements in this description. You should put that footnote in the requirements. Just saying. So, cathedral. We throw it over here? Sure. Okay. We've got everything that we need for our first Monument Eden project. Is it is it going where it's staying? I don't know. Uh, who knows? Sorry, whipping the camera around. Gonna find a cool little spot for this. Would it fit right there if we got rid of that park? I'd have to break those footpaths, but yes, it would. Ah, let's let's do it. It could be part of the universe. It's a university project. That's what happens if you stay in school, kids. Uh, you come up with a building that's a huge glass house, perfect for vast gardens full of exotic fruits and plants, greatly increases the city profile, removes pollution from land, air, and water, making land value in the city, making land in the city area more valuable. Those words didn't come out in the right order the first time. Try it again. Uh, sometimes you just could take a running stab at things. At least it works for me. So now that we've dropped that in, is the effect almost immediate? Oh, we haven't hit play yet. So that's, okay, perfect. So let's hit play and watch that land value. Green is good. <laughs> All right. So uh, land value is higher. It's more appealing to move into. Uh, uh, generates more tax revenue. Buildings upgrade faster. In fact, you can see you can see some of the arrows happening there. And if we jump back out to the regular view, you'll notice all kinds of buildings getting uh, getting upgrades there. So. They will pay more taxes. They will be able to house more residents, more families. Lots of cool stuff that happens there. Uh, you can't get to max level if you have high rise band, which we have set on uh, different parts of the city. But that is our first monument. And, and what I really should have looked at is not just land value, but we want to look at pollution. 
Um, and there's still plenty of pollution in these areas, right? Um, in fact, I, I'm pretty sure I showed it on the last episode. It was so close to the water. And basically what happens with Eden Project, once you give it a little time to operate, is the pollution is just going to be like right there on the building. It And maybe it looks like the street's a little dirty, but across the street is totally fine. Uh, you'll notice if you put if you put trees real close to industry, we might be able to get one there in time before the Eden Project effect fully kicks in. Uh, size down. No, too late, I think. They have a lot less leaves. They look fuller as you get away from polluted areas. And I think we've already uh, reached that spot. But so this is so nice. But what, what does this do to our water also? So back into info views. Back to pollution. You know, we didn't have any drinking water pollution before, right? Our, our water that we were picking up was clean. We were making quite the mess, though, out to sea. And in fact, you can you can see at sea that uh, we're, we're pushing that. We're pushing that bubble away. We're, we're polluting this water so little now. Uh, eventually, that will all flow off. I don't think we're affecting that water out there to reduce the pollution for it. But yeah, you'll notice that. You know, the incinerators, I think, are the most extreme example. If we give it a little bit more time to run, though, I think it will reduce that spread. So, you know, does it look pretty right next to it? No, but I mean, you can kind of you can kind of space that out. We can tuck this in a little bit better away from the highway so that we're not, you know, making people sick before they even get into the city. We want to we want to trick them right? we want to trick them to come in. But that's step number one. What else is a cool monument? If we're going to drop, I guess, one more in. How many monuments are there? There are five. Let's do two today. We'll do some improvements and figure out what to do with the next two. See where our budget's at. Uh, Med Center's good, but but where are we at healthcare-wise? You know, is that... We have 45 sick citizens capacity for 2,100. I'd say we don't worry about that just yet. Power-wise... Power-wise, we are getting there. And if we look at electricity, um, uh, budget, I did turn that back up. I remembered uh, I had turned this up during a death wave. So um, does that affect, does that affect capacity or does this affect like the number of ambulance and hearses that go out? I think that's what it is. So we should be good there. So let's not worry about healthcare just yet. Power might be, might be on the docket. Education's kind of cool too, but I think we're doing okay on that front also. Quick look at education views. You know, these are my newest neighborhoods where people aren't fully educated. We're under capacity. You know, let's do the collider. Let's let's educate. So we did all the threes. What do we have to cram in? on what four five and six this is a requirement for fusion we did that one requirement for the collider grand library kind of cool if we cram it in down there across the street from that one it's a it's a bigger object than i'm expecting and maybe it could go you know right right there break a couple Break a couple things, but, you know, very central to this roundabout. What is it not? Is it over the road? Really? And I'm going to have to break that, and I'm not going to break the... Uh, here? On the back side of the university? That doesn't fit either. <laughs> okay, let's break this street, because, come on. Uh, we'll set that up. Hopefully we can get some footpaths in through there and kind of make those look a little a little connected. We'll work on that. We definitely got to work on this campus a bit, but I think these objects kind of work, right? The Eden Project. This is the official park, obviously our main university building, and we're just cramming in a library here, but we'll look at uh, at rebuilding these. This is just throwing some stuff on the uh, on the pallet before we throw it on the canvas officially. 
If you know what I mean, great. If you don't, you should probably paint more. Um, but we're just we're just putting some stuff out so that we can see it, and uh, and we can we can move it around. We got we got a decent amount of money. We won't in a minute. Uh, what else do we have to drop in? Med. That one is Collider the Aquarium. So it would be nice to fit a couple things in on this. I feel like if anywhere should have this kind of stuff, it's this highway, right? Where can we get that? Oh, right there. Knocks out quite a few buildings. What if we did... Ooh, that's... That's a little better. It's massive. But it kind of it kind of feels right. We'll need to flatten that. We'll fix that parking lot later. Don't worry about that. Don't you worry a bit. Level six. Med Collider. Theater Wonders. Let's let that play. To make sure those effects are seen. Okay. Theater Wonders would be great over here somewhere. See, streets wise. If we move this elementary school, do we even do we even need the elementary schools at all? Do we need any schools once we have the collider in place? I'm not 100% on that. And I feel like I've seen people say that in the comments. I think I know a way we can figure it out. We can turn off all the schools and see how our education's going. So for right now, just because I know, mm, no, where this part of the, this is going to be part of that university campus also move a bunch of stuff out. Okay. Let's delete this street. Put it right in the middle where it's deleting. I guess, I guess deleting those makes more sense. I don't know. And, we're, and meanwhile, I'm going to let something move right back in. So we've got the collider in there. We've still got 5.2 million in the bank, right? And what I want to do here, just to kind of give you a quick zoom overhead, right? Like we'll pick a block and, and this is going to be that block, but we'll, we'll shimmy stuff around here and, and turn it into a the best university campus that we can in the base game. Uh, we added a second uni in, which right now it doesn't matter because this this should supply enough for everybody. At least that's the theory. Um, let's go into schools. What's the easiest way to do this? Is to actually go into schools, probably. Uh, let's turn. Look, can we turn all these off? Can I do it from education view? Education, elementary, school, off, right? Because look at our capacity. Our capacity is a million. Do they need? Do they need the school nearby? And I don't know that I've ever answered this question. Though I, again, I know I've seen it suggested many times in the comments. So, apologies for not having done the research on this one. Doing it today by turning everything off. We'll let it play for a while. Maybe uh, even next episode could be a cinematic episode. That might be kind of fun. We haven't seen this place uh, a lot at night. Uh, no, educate education views we were in. Yeah. Okay. So which which ones are on still? The purple. It's gonna be fun. Uh, be fun turn these back on or find them to delete them when they're disabled like that. So collider we leave that counts as a, a building in each view. Uh, that is that is to say when you're looking at uh, did I turn that off. Yeah. Yeah, turned off. OK, um, what was I saying? I think I remember what I was saying. Basically, we're looking at elementary buildings right now and the collider is lit up as one of those. When we go to switch over to look at high school, same thing. It's also a high school. It's also a university unless you turn that off, which we will later on. 
And later on, I mean, when we finally add DLC to this build um, at some point. Because when you add campus, uh, the effect, in fact, there wasn't a way to disable it uh, at first. So the effect that this building has uh, meant that it would just make your universities completely useless. This Because this thing covered everywhere. Um, so they gave you the ability to disable university boost that people will still go to university. This only provides that boost for elementary and high school. Or at least it does uh, that when that is checked, when that's turned on. When it's turned off, it's not disabled, so it's there. So yes, we have university boost happening right here. But we'll turn we'll turn everything off again just to, to make sure that we understand this right. That's roads. Info views, elementary, where where's elementary? Okay, so so we've got students in the city. Uh, million capacity, right? And if you look, right, we're, we're also seeing the uh, education level. So notice that everybody is elementary educated in the city. I don't think it's like one house that just moved in. They don't have elementary education. Couple over here, but everyone is elementary educated. No problem there. So that's the thing to keep an eye out for is how much does that change? We'll turn off our high schools real quick. I'll just cut cut to that because it's the same thing. Just clicking on each one from the info views. Uh, don't turn off and don't turn off the collider. All right, be right back. All right, so if we take a quick look through now, all of our elementary, all of our high school, and uh, I was going to say all, both of our university, all still technically counts, uh, are off. So we'll keep an eye on things. We'll keep an eye on things. Uh, what tiles do we buy? I don't know if you've got thoughts. Let me know. I'm not committed to anything just yet. We've got two. Uh, I think it would make sense to come build up here. Let's let's just consider that for a moment, right? We could build, you know, a little bit over on the other side, tuck away maybe the airport over there, do something, you know, with that intersection. There's a train over there, you know, there's 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 good stuff to do over there that could could help the edge of our map uh, room for airport number one, uh, two, three and four. If we if we put all the DLC on at once, but I'm still on the fence which way I'm going to go with the DLC, whether I do like an area and show what that can do. If we do, you know, full build with that and, and really deep dive, I think that's the way that I'm going to go. Anyways, airport would be kind of cool up there. Uh, the other thing that would be interesting, but I don't think it's quite enough room, is if we wanted to build around this lake, we could buy these tiles. I think we could get a road over on the left-hand side. It would make sense to kind of continue the build on, on this part of the peninsula, right? I, th I think maybe these two make the most sense. This one's not, not terrible. So this could be sort of the same thing. If we had access to that, we can't really hook into that highway because it's going to be right on the edge right there. So we'd have to make our exit, you know, right here. But we could hook in, I think, an airport that way. We have enough space we could bring uh, kind of a, a highway bypass, make it kind of beltway around. And is that more train tracks? It is. So that's not a terrible tile either. You know, so we might we might just do the square um, and really focus the build on the peninsula and then have a little space to tuck some stuff off to the side. Did we do uh, we did two monuments today? OK, that's great. We'll be at that point where we need to think about the fusion power plant. Uh, how close are we on that? <laughs> Man, okay, we got 5 million. You know what? It's a long one today. Actually, I don't know how long it is because I had a time lapse so long. I've been recording forever, um, but it probably hasn't been that long. Like, we can get one more in, right? Uh, level three, we did them all. So, power. 
that's for the fusion power plant. This one's not going to make any sense wherever we put it right now because it kind of needs its own spot off in the middle of nowhere. And we don't really have a road like that, do we? We do have the, the dam road. Where's the dam road? Uh, oh, down here, you know? We do something off of that. Can we can we snap it to the edge of that? That'd be awesome. It's not zonable. That's too bad. All right, for now. Great view, lots of light pollution, giant building right next to it. That's what you want for an observatory. Don't uh don't don't build like that at home, kids. Expo Center is space. That's med, so this must be our fusion power plant building or the requirement for it, I should say. A little dry over here, just, just right over here. Do we buy it? I'm gonna buy this tile. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do the square. Never mind. I decided. That's what we needed that square for. That's it. We're done. We're not building anything else over there. Uh, so that was level five. What is level six? Modern art museum. Lovely. All right. We're going to have to work on a much better downtown area, I think. Ooh, this one comes deep off the block. Can we get it on that side? With minimal destruction? No. Let's do that. We'll have to do some terraining to clean that up. That's pretty rough. At least it won't flood. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's one more monument we can drop in, right? Fusion power plant. Let's pause for this one. Let's delete that. Let's drop in... The, uh, the power plant right there. We can't fit it on the diagonal, can we? That would look kind of cool. Not in the street config that I have there. So brand new power. Let's go into economy budget and set electricity down to 50%. Uh, and let's hit play. Let's see what that actually does to our budget though. I think it knocked our budget up in the process. So, I mean, we're making money, though. That's the good news. These things are not cheap. They are not cheap to run. Uh, let's see. I think the med center is a particularly rough one. This is 4000 a week. But it provides a ton of power at 50%, as low as we can put our slider. We're still making uh, six times, almost six times what we need. I guess closer to five times what we need uh, in that neighborhood. <laughs> um, someone that's good at math is disappointed in me. I've learned to live with it. Uh, I'm just good enough to know that I was off with my first, my first assumption uh, because of the extra 75. I was just thinking flat 700. You, you probably, if you know math, you knew where I was trying to get to and just being lazy. I'm sorry. That's not what we're here for. That's a different channel entirely. Um, and it is not mine. So what was I going to look at? Uh, oh, that was 4,000 a week, right? Where is... There's Eden. What's this one? That's 6,400 a week upkeep. And what else did we drop in today? Fusion. Oh, and the Collider. The Collider, that's right. And that's over by our university. Oh, it's right next to the... Yeah, I should have known. That's 9600 a week. Wow, for education. But that that question, right? Did we, did we remove the need for all those other education buildings? I think that we did. Like I said, only time will tell. So... 
good spot to end because I have no idea really how long that time lapse took most of all. That's the most important reason to end right now. I don't really know how long this episode's going to be. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Hopefully you stay tuned. If you enjoyed, likes, comments, shares, they all sh shares, shares. Was that? Try that again. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. I have no idea how long, honestly, I can get this edit down to. I've been recording for a very long time, but, uh, but a lot of it is sitting there waiting for that last milestone that we finally hit. Dropped in uh, three monuments today. That's, that's great, but that's a good place to cut it and uh, drop the last two in, at least the last two that we have access to for now, in probably on the next episode. Start moving some stuff around, tweaks, improvements. Maybe actually finish that metro line and build out a decent infrastructure for the city. I mean, we've got access to everything now, so there's no excuses. But we'll get it in a decent spot. We'll get it working right, uh, making money, happy citizens that are educated, well-employed, and just all around try and build a really successful city with the tool set that we've got. And then we'll look at how to introduce some of the DLCs. But we still got a few more episodes, and we'll be taking a look at all the mechanics and things that we built so far and how we can improve them. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed, likes, comments, shares, they all help so much and they're so greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and hit the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. If you'd like to support the channel, links to that and lots of other things in the description down below. But until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.